Here at No Code MBA, we are very interested in the latest developments with AI. And we're also talking about different no code tools that you can use to build apps, websites, or whatever it is that you're creating. But can you create a website using a simple prompt and AI? That's what we're gonna find out today. So we're going to try Framer's new AI tool where you can give a simple prompt and it's going to create a website for you. Now, before we dive in, know that we're going to go through the pricing at the end we're going to talk about the different features that Framer has as well. And we're going to use three different prompts. And also be sure to check out the description because we have a free guide for you using no code tools and more information about premium courses if you want to build your own thing. Here I am inside the back end of Framer. I'm going to start with a prompt using this button here, start with AI. And you can see here that's giving you an example prompt. And if you are wanting more prompts, then you can go to this page here, prompts.framer.ai, where it's going to give you these curated prompts, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what it's looking for in the prompt. Because when it comes to AI, what's really important is that initial prompt that you give it. Okay, I'm really excited to try this out. I have a prompt, which I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm going to start with a landing page just to make it a little bit more simple. So to create a simple landing page, optimize for email conversions for a breathwork specialist. Include a strong headline, subheadline, image, and capture form. Include text about the benefits of signing up for the free guide and come up with a name for the guide and make people excited about getting it. All right, let's try this out. Click start. And what it's gonna do is generate the page here. As you can see, if we do fit to page or zoom to fit, then you can see it working. That's pretty cool on desktop, tablet, and a phone. So it's basically giving you the three options here and just showing you exactly what it looks like. But if we zoom in a little bit more, then you can see at the moment, and you can just use your mouse to do this, that it's generating the page and it's giving you the the headline, unleash your inner power with breath work. Introducing, breathe your way to health. Discover the secrets of breath work with our free guide specifically created for those looking to improve their well-being and transform their lives. And you can see here, it's actually given us some more stuff. Seven days to a healthier you, instant access to the guide, and you can download it here um, by entering your email. Now we're not gonna to go too deep into the different tools used here because we're really just testing out the AI feature, but we'll look at the end what kind of apps that you can connect with Framer when creating your website so that you can capture email leads and send them through your email responder series using your favorite tool. Now here on the right, it's saying here is your free AI domain. So this is a subdomain that you can use and you can obviously change this, but it's given you uh, a suggestion here. And then later on with price and we'll look at custom domains. Now, a couple of things here is that it's given us a theme and what we can do is shuffle this color theme here if we'd like to, where it's gonna just give us different colors based on colors that go together. So you don't have to think about Okay, if I have a green headline or a green header, what color goes with it? It's just going to do that for you. So we'll go with blue because I feel like blue and breath kind of go together. And then here, you can also change the uh, text fonts simply by clicking on them. So let's go with that one. And we can also change the display fonts, the header fonts to something probably a bit more like let's go with that I quite like that one and then at any time what you can do is click on one section of this here and if you don't like the text let's say you can regenerate the text so what that's going to do ai is then going to say okay you want this regenerated and it's going to regenerate it for you so then you can also um click on it and just change it yourself and then if we go over we can see what it looks like on a tablet um, and also on a phone over here so i think that's a pretty cool start in terms of just showing you the power of ai and framer coming together 
to build a website based on your prompt. Now, we talked about before how it's really important to get the prompt right, but also it's after the fact as well. So usually you're not going to just create this perfect title, description, image, etc. that's just going to be ideal first time. But then you might need to regenerate certain parts, change the color theme, change the text by yourself. But it's just going to give you that basic beginning, which you can work off, the first draft, which you can work off. Okay, I'm excited to try another one now. So let's try a new prompt. This time, it's a portfolio website for a photographer called Mr. Marvin. Showcase the pictures with captions. Include sections for an about me section and a how to work with me section. Make it minimal so the images do the talking. Now I've said here, include images, just to show the types of images that this website and the AI is gonna give you based on prompts. But obviously, if you're a photographer, then you're gonna use your own images. Okay, so this is generating. And the first thing is, I think this is really clever. So Mr. Marvin is the name, capturing marvelous moments. It's very good. And then if we scroll down, it's still generating the page, but Meet Mr. Marvin is a dedicated and passionate photographer who believes in the power of exquisite images to tell a story. So again, it's just giving you that basic text on which you can build. And I'm really impressed by the text that it's given on the websites. A glimpse of Mr. Marvin's artistic versatility, unleash your story's potential, how to work with Mr. Marvin, ready to capture your story. So it's basically leading people down to this action part where the visuals and the text are really working well together. I would say probably it needs a little bit more in terms of the photography, just to showcase the photography. So that's something in the prompt where you can actually regenerate um, up here by saying, okay, focus more on images. So create more images. Right, we'll do one more the last one where we're going to focus a little bit more on e-commerce create a website for a local company in the atlanta area that makes tea based on local and organic ingredients create a name for the company the feeling should be fancy decadent and exciting make it easy for people to purchase purchase the products from the homepage. so let's see what it comes up with this time okay so it's generate the page it's come up with the name atlanta tea company which uh it might already be taken. Obviously, you need to check these things. But welcome to Atlanta Tea Company, where opulence meets organic freshness. Experience our exquisite tea blends crafted from locally sourced organic ingredients that delight your senses. Very well put. And here, it's even come up with the different blends that you can have. And the text is great. Order today. So you can shop now here. And obviously, you can create different pages on using this this tool for you and then it's come up with um testimonials which obviously you need uh real testimonials oh wow tea queries tea queries inquiries tea queries are your teas gluten free uh absolutely how are the teas packaged do you offer wholesale so again you need to change this text based on what you're going to offer but you can see here that it's a pretty strong start. The photo is a little bit probably old fashioned, not the modern style that you might be looking for. But you can see that it's got a really strong start on which you can build. And again, I'm really impressed by the copy. So you might be thinking, can I embed Shopify with this? Can I embed YouTube? What about some other elements like email marketing signups? Well, I've had a quick look and it seems like it's got a lot of the apps covered. So the different plugins that you can use in order to put these elements onto your website. So in the AI, you might be able to use that as a prompt, include embedding of YouTube on every blog page, for example. But some of the time you're just going to use a drag and drop feature. And here it shows you that it has reservations through OpenTable, Eventbrite, The Fork, Gumroad and Shopify. So you can use Shopify on these websites. Now you're probably thinking about the pricing now, how much is this gonna cost? Uh, there's a free version for hobby projects where you have the frame of banner on there. For most people, I think it's gonna be the basic or the pro. So the basic, it's saying it's for personal sites, unlimited pages, 10,000 visitors per month, 
And for pro sites, you're going to get 100,000 visitors per month, um, analytics, staging, redirects, those types of things. So obviously, you're going to have to do a little bit of digging into the features. And if you scroll down here, it's going to give you a better overview of the different features and which price plan you need based on what you need. So that is it, Framer's new AI tool to create websites. I'm really impressed with this tool. And obviously it needs a little bit of work once the website has been created. But I think the, the key here lies in coming up with the not just the design and the template that you want to give it, but also some of the copy and the, some of the features that you might not think that you need on the website. So it's gonna give you that first draft and then you can go in and edit it from there. And as AI develops, and as you are able to give it more prompts and more information, it's gonna come up with something pretty much spot on to what you asked for in the beginning. And there were a couple of those, I think the landing page one was pretty close for me. The photography one probably needed a few more images on there, and the tea company was great. It just needed different images again, and maybe a better headline. But you can see it's fantastic. And I'd love to know if you are going to play around with this tool. If you do, let us know about the results. And be sure to subscribe to this channel because we talk about no-code tools, building businesses. We talk about AI and there is lots more to come. So thank you again for being here. And please share this video with a friend. And also check out the description for the free guide and the courses that we offer. Okay, thank you so much. Bye for now.